Good morning guys and welcome to our at home Saturday football sessions on tour as always, well not as always, over the last few weeks. This week guys we are up at Skull Field. As you can see in the background this week, Coach Simon, here he comes look. Alright, he's here to help us get us through a goalkeeper session today. Alright, and you can also see further in the background we've got one of our Saturday regulars, Will. He's up here with his dad Matt. Okay, they're going to take part in the session as well. Okay, because this is where we normally run our Saturday morning football session, so we thought we'd come up, check out the facilities again. Okay, so when you come on, do jump, do you say hello, let us know you're watching. We'll give you a little shout out as always. Okay, and then like I said, today is going to be all about goalkeepers. So the little bit of rain that we've had has actually worked in our favour, guys. <clears throat> so all we're going to need, four cones, two footballs, and some gloves if you've got them, guys. Okay, and we'll let, give it a couple of minutes we'll get everybody on board and we'll get going already guys already are you ready at home obviously we've got a goal guys we do, you don't need a goal today okay if you've not got one but obviously if we have with goalkeepers it always helps practicing in front of one <clears throat> so we're going to do that today and today is all about a little bit of footwork and handling skills we're going to look at a little bit of diving introduction to diving and then we've got a little fun some fun little games just to finish off with okay so we'll give one minute and we're going to get going remember guys do say hello when you jump on we'll give you a little shout out hopefully you can hear us and see us no technical difficulties this week and fingers crossed it doesn't rain on us Right guys, 30 seconds. I see lots of people watching but no one's saying hi. We're all a bit shy this morning. Simon getting warmed up in the background. So 30 seconds guys, we're gonna start. Your 30 second countdown has begun. Are we ready? Grab yourself a ball. Let's get warmed up. Oh, I'll, I'll get the ball. It's all right. Get mine. Right then, are we ready in the background? <laughs> a little bit different for us this time. Right then, guys, all we're going to need, just a one ball to start. We're just going to have a little warm up. Just going to have a little throw to each other. Okay, moving around, getting warm. Okay, so just different heights, getting the feet warm, moving up, moving down. Okay, you can throw some high ones in, do whatever we want. Ooh. Round the back. Just mix it up. That's it. Bounce them in. Just keep it moving. Little short boats. See if we can just try and get one bouncing if we are going to bounce it. Let's see who's on board. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Andrew. If I missed anybody, I apologise. high that's it get those legs and feet warm fizz them in a little bit oh we'll catch you out we can guys try and get that w shape with our hands we get one bounce in before it can don't let it have any more than one bounce. Right guys, then we get the ball on the floor. Because keepers nowadays got to have your feet as well. So just little one touch, two touch passing. Just moving around. Staying on your toes, keep moving. Change feet. Get those feet working. Keeper's got our foot skills nowadays. You can get a one touch in, get that one touch. We need two. And you take two control. Whatever you want. Oh. Make sure we're nice and bouncy. Excuse me. Oh. 
Oh, bounced off the corn. That's why we've got to be on our toes. Giving the testers now. <laughs> oh, and he's gone, he's gone. <laughs> right, guys, just have one minute, get your breath back. Let's have a look on here. Good morning. Can't move any comments off with my gloves on. So we've got Andrew on, good morning, Phil, Gina. Good to see you all this morning, guys. Super work. Right, hopefully, we had a little bit of a warm up there. Right guys, what we want you to do now, if you can see, we just need two of your cones. We'll get rid of these so they're not in your way for now. So all we want guys, just one at the back, one at the front. Okay, so we've got that little area there. And in the corner guys, in comes Baz. Coach Baz is here. Fully on time. <laughs> righty guys so what we're going to look at now just some forward and backward movement so we're going to start at the back so i'm going to take place as the coach okay and simon is to make sure you can actually see me on the camera might have to just shuffle, might have to just bring it over this side a bit side that's it that'll do so we're in that's it so you can see us guys so what we want guys, you're going to start at the back, all we're going to do is move forward like Simon's going to show you now. He's going to run forward, get a set position, catch the ball. Then he's going to throw it back, have a little shuffle back. Okay, so it's just running forward, getting into a set position, and we're just going to throw it into that chest. So try and get that W shape again. Okay, so you're running forwards, bang, catch. That's it, well done Will in the background as well. So we're just pedalling forward, coming out, set, that's it. If we can try and make ourselves a little bit big so we're coming out to close people down, make that goal look small, there we go, nice and big, good hands to catch. Well done. Oh, Simon looks like a pro, doesn't he? <laughs> that's it, so nice and big, make that goal look small, come out, intimidate that striker. That's it, he even added the face look, scared me then. Okay, we'll do a couple more. Well done. Bang. Right guys, this time we're going to go low. So Simon's going to come out again, but this time we're just going to roll the ball at the floor. So when Simon comes out this time, if you watch his technique, he's going to come out, down, and then block. He'll get that knee down, so it can't go through his legs, and then just scoop that ball up. So again, he's going to, so, he's going to come forward and we're just going to roll the ball in, scoop that ball up into your arms and we're all good. As soon as he's ready, he's going to come out, roll it in. Again at home, fizz it in as much as you want. However advanced the player is, you can roll it nice and soft for the younger ones. It's nice and steady. Okay, if they're a little bit more experienced, maybe we ping it in a little bit. I'm going to come this way just to touch because I keep looking. No, I'll just leave it there, Si. We'll go just at an angle. Just so you can see me rolling it in, guys, as well. Okay. Off we go. It's just a little roll in. That's it. Scooping it up. Dive on top of it if we need to. Smother that ball. Excellent. We've got two more. I'm going to put Simon through his paces this week. We had Coach Dave through his paces last week. Baz never joined in the week before. <laughs> and now we're putting Simon through his paces. Well done. Right, guys, hold it there. Have a little breather. So that was just looking at a little bit of forward work. So just coming to it, making yourself big, collecting that ball different ways, getting down. Okay, catching it in the middle. What we're going to do now, guys, we're going to look at going backwards. Okay, so the goalkeeper's going to start with the ball. They're going to start on the front cone. They're going to throw it to us. As soon as they throw it, they're going to start pedalling backwards. We're going to throw it high. Okay, what we're looking for, guys, here is two things. Number one, if we can catch it, catch it. That's the best thing we can do. So try and get up and catch it. 
if you get there and you think it's a bit too high, that's when we tip it or we punch it over for a corner. Okay, so you've got to make that judgment. Is it high enough? Can you catch it? That's the first thing we want to do. If it's a little bit too high, just can we tip it over the bar, okay? So when so Simon's going to be at the front, he's just going to give it to me, and then he's on his bike, he's back, and we're just going to throw it up, little tip over. So it's just a throw in, pedal back, judge it, get underneath. So again, as a keeper's running out to us, Whoa, little slick. Oh, <laughs> bigger studs. Okay. So we're just going to start in, move back, pedal back, keep your eye on it. If we can catch it, we try and catch it at its highest point. That's it. That's it. When we're jumping high, guys, get that leg out for a bit of protection as well. And then just decide if you can catch it, catch it. It's just a little bit too much. Next best thing, tip it over. Simon's just a bit too big for these. And after, whoa, there we go, make him jump. Whoa, tipped over. Well done. Whoa, another tip over. Well done, guys. Keep it going. Give you another 30 seconds of that. How are we getting on at home, guys? Anybody tipped it over the garden fence yet into next door's garden? Good morning, Josh. Good morning, Lee. Good to see you this morning. So, guys, we'll give you one minute. Just grab yourselves a quick drink, and then we're going to move on to some sideways movements, OK? We promised Simon we would uh, put him through his paces this morning, and we're doing just that. At least it's not 400 degrees today, so we're all right. Right, guys, for the next one, once you've had a drink, we just want you to use three cones or three objects, whatever you've got at home. Just give yourself a little bit of space in between each one. And like I say, now we're going to look at some sideways movement, lateral movement. Morning Dan, good morning Cheryl. Jumping on, how are we doing at the back guys? We're getting there, it's good to be back. Yeah, we've missed this place. Do stick around guys as well to the end, we have got a little bit of information to give you about our Saturday mornings. Okay, but you must stick around to the end. But stay tuned in right until the very end. Treat you. Okay. Righty guys, so we're going to go and move sideways now. So obviously as a keeper, we want to always be looking forward. Okay, so when we do go sideways, don't want to be running sideways and then having to turn. So always want to be looking where the football is. So we're going sideways, okay, getting our feet moving. So what we're going to do to start off with, Simon's going to show you, we're just going to go over the cones to the, to the left. So he's going to go over, over, over and catch. Dead simple. And he's just going to have a little walk back. Get himself ready, and then he's going to go, 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 ping. He's going to try and not get tackled by the cones, okay? So Will in the background, get over those cones, Will, and then bang, catch, okay? So when we're ready, guys, off we go. So it's just through, nice straight throw, get it into the chest, just to start with, and then we're going to mix it up later on. Just looking forward, that's it. Well done. So always be reactive, guys. It might not be the straightest throw in the world. What? And if we drop it, we spill it, we dive on it, we smother it. We make sure we get hold of it. Well, one more. Bam. Okay. And then what we want to do, guys, once we've done that, is start throwing in some low ones. 
and then some high ones so then you're mixing it up get that keeper okay guessing what's going to come don't always know what's going to happen okay we've got the dogs dogs involved now as well <laughs> so what happens when you go live okay why does it never work with kids and animals do they say <laughs> that's it <laughs> So then guys, so what we're going to do now is so Simon's going to do the same movements, but as the coach, what I want to do now, instead of just throwing it straight at him, so if Simon come, just comes and stands at the, just the side, so instead of just throwing it straight at him every time, now I might roll one along the floor, okay? I might throw one high for him. So when you get to the end of the cones, we're just going to have to react high, middle or low, okay? So when you're ready at home, guys, off we go. So just over those cones, and then we react to wherever that ball is. That's it. You do what feels comfortable for you. We've got correct techniques, but you've got to do what's right. Okay. So we can bounce them in, throw them in, throw them high, throw them low. Fizz them in, gently. Test him. And obviously with the younger ones, let them get to a set position before you throw it at them. Okay, then build them up so that as soon as they get there, then they can react to it. So again, if it's nice and steady, you let them get set. Okay, might even tell a younger one, right, this one's going to be along the floor so they know when they come along, we roll it in, they know what's coming. Okay, then as the player gets more advanced, you start not telling them and just mix it up like this. Ooh. And again, if it's high, try and catch it high. If it's too high, it's a little tip over. That's it. Okay, we'll do one more and then we're going to change the footwork. <coughs> well done. Right then, guys, so we're just going to change the footwork a little bit now. So we're going to go sideways, but you're just going to go backwards and forwards as well. So on the cones, you're just going to pedal backwards, go in and out of each cone until we get to this side, then we get our set position. Okay? Are we looking good, Baz? <laughs> Chief producer in the background, just checking that everything's looking good. <laughs> so again, obviously at home, we're just doing the small, the short version for you, but at home, you would work one side, then we would have, after a while, we'd swap over and we'd work the other side. Okay, today we're just going to work one side just to give you the idea of what we're doing. When you're doing it at home, make sure you work both sides, okay? Right, so when we're ready, just going to go forwards, backwards, through the cones, and then react nice and steady. Always looking forward, and try and get to the point where you don't have to look at the cones. Okay, you can see where they are and you can get yourself through them. And then again, you mix it up, low, high, and in the midriff. And as we said before, guys, with the younger ones and beginner level, take it slowly, maybe tell them what you're gonna do, and as they get more advanced, then you just start throwing it in, mixing it up. We're looking to get that stance in, nice and strong, catch that ball. We're ready, come on, we'll get working in the background. No slacking. <laughs> Good work, doing really well. Braving it in the rain that's starting to fall. That's it, well done. Okay guys, just keep that going for about another minute or so, and we'll mix up, we're gonna throw in a little dive then as well, okay? Good morning, Dave. Cheers, let's see, Mr. Few. Let's see who's on, who's talking to us. Good morning, Steve. It's good to see you all this fine morning. No sunshine. I think the last time we did a lockdown goalkeeper session, it was freezing as well. I vaguely remember having my woolly hat on in the April. Okay, and today we do another goalkeeper session and it's raining. Simon's fault. <laughs> <Not 
Ready guys, so what we're going to do now, so for Will, it's time to get mucky mate, are you ready? Yeah, so we've got the space to the side, alright we're going to do the same work, but this time instead of me throwing it straight here, I'm just going to shuffle over here a little bit, okay, so a little slow demo from Simon, he's going to do his footwork in, out as soon as he leaves the cones, oh look at that bottom corner. So again, if we can, we're looking to try and get hold of it first. If we can't quite get there, then it's a tip or a push away out to the side. Nice greasy surface. <laughs> we'll slow we'll slot next one down for Simon. <laughs> That's it, Will. Just remember, if we can, guys, we want to try and get our hands behind the ball, one behind, one on top. Try and get that and spring it into us. But if we if it's just out of reach and it's a tip round the post or out to the side, okay? So when Simon's ready, he's going to go footwork, 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 and then just in, that's it. That's where we get mucky. That's where Simon gets mucky. Yep, we've done our playing days. So it is just easier for the more advanced players now, just to chuck in that little dive, or just kids that want to throw themselves about, which is pretty much all of you. Okay, just getting that little dive. Again, yeah, if you're inside, guys, maybe not be flying about, okay? Give yourself the space. But it's raining. Why does that why do we have to be inside? Right, you ready? One more. Excellent. So that's all on the floor, guys, as well. Obviously, again, if you want to advance it a little bit more, then ping them in a little bit higher. Make them jump for them, okay? Should we test Simon out with a high one? What are we saying at home? What are we saying, Baz? Are we testing yeah. Simon out? Yeah, Baz has agreed. Okay, so again, if they've got a little bit about them, then, oh, look at that! We'll have to get that in slow-mo. Thought he was going in the top bins. No chance in full-size nets. Simon's <laughs> great in a nine aside net. <laughs> so guys, yeah, so we're obviously just taking that throwing a little dive at the end. It's more about just getting that save, but yeah, depending on the level of player, along the floor, diving in the top bins, okay? Right guys, have a keep having a go at that, we'll give you another minute. Okay. Baz is now being a, a human umbrella. <laughs> Grab yourselves a quick drink, how we doing back there, Will? We dirty, we mucky. Should we, should we get dad diving about? Oh, just, just shrug your shoulders. Just... Instant answer there, Will, was yes. <laughs> He's going to get mucky in a little bit anyway, because we're going to do an introduction to diving. <laughs> so He's got no choice. But it's more just falling over. It's more just falling over, which we're kind of good at. Right, guys, so for the next bit, you're not going to need any cones or markers, just going to need each other and some footballs. Out comes the brolly. Not got Theo's uh, playhouse today to keep everything nice and dry. Let's test the waterproofness of the iPhones. That's it. If only you could see the bars. There we are, let's see. So you can see us on the floor now a little bit. Right then, guys, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to go that side now and go this side, sorry. So you're going to have to sit down on your bum opposite each other okay
out to the side. sides of the body <laughs> we're all right we've got a few minutes to go plenty plenty enough time Been on the floor on our bums okay now we're just taking it up a little bit higher so that falls a little bit more now so it's just out you're just getting used to it so you're on your knees as it comes out now fall back up again up wide so it's just getting used to now falling from a bit, little bit higher okay So get those strong hands on it, get nice and gripped in there. Oh, bouncing off this greasy surface. And then obviously at the moment, guys, as you can see, me and Simon, we know we're going right and then left, right and then left. Might want to just mix it up so they don't know whether it's coming to the same side or the other side. Oops, not far enough away, were it? Really get that dive on. That's it, so we're just going from the knees. Oh, didn't even get up, look. Proper tester. That's it. Oh, it's getting competitive now. Just like I'm sure it will be at home, guys. Oh, went straight to you. So we've got three more. One. Two. Last one, three, okay, and then last stage, I'm going to go from our feet, so again we're just progressing each level, if you don't feel comfortable going from stood up, stay on, if you're uncomfortable from your knees, go back down to your bum, okay, so now obviously you just want to be on our toes, and it's going to be in, and now we're down from a height, jump back up, That's it, so we're getting behind, we're on our toes. Yes, super work. <laughs> He's beating me! He's beating me! He knows I don't feel comfortable diving that way. That's it. <laughs> Oh, like a cat. I'll do three more. <laughs> Oof. So obviously for diving guys, you want to try and make sure we do get them out wide. Obviously if it's right next to you, you're not going to dive on the floor. And we're down. Give one more. Boom, superb. Right guys, well done, have yourself a quick drink. I'll have a quick check on the, uh, the battery situation. <laughs> Morning Dave, Phil doing it in the house, pal. Football's bouncing everywhere. Hey, doesn't matter, as long as we're getting it done. Get him out in garden, Phil. Doing stuck inside. Only a bit of water. Right then guys, then what we're going to do to finish with, we're just going to have a little fun, competitive game. Oh, we know Matt and Will love a little bit of competition on a Saturday morning. 
who's currently in the lead do we know I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a chart somewhere <laughs> beyond what I think it might be on dad's wall in his bedroom about how many weeks he's won how many times he's beat Will right what we'll do guys we'll pass you you're going to need two footballs so we'll give you one of ours freshly disinfected this morning we're all good and we only touched them with our gloves so guys what we're we going to do I'm going to have ball in your hand each decide if one person is going to throw chest to chest the other person is going to bounce the ball off the floor okay so nice and steady so i'll go chest time is going to go floor and we're just going to catch okay so just have a little practice of that first no competition no winners no losers just get used to it so we want one ball to bounce underneath the other ball just goes straight from chest to chest little basketball chest pass if you like okay that's it we'll do Five more seconds, three, two, one, and hold it, oh, on the buzzer, okay, and then once we've had a little practice, the competition is try to get fast hands, try to make the other person end up with both the footballs at the same time, okay, what you can't do though is you can't just slap the ball back, you must catch it and throw it, okay, so when Simon throws his, I can't just go like that, okay i've got to make sure i catch it and then you throw so as fast as you can as soon as you get it you throw you don't have to wait for the other person gotta bounce it there we go oh he's testing try and keep that dance all the time oh! coach simon wins game one okay then once obviously once you've won a point swap rolls so the, then you go the other person will go underneath are you ready? So, we'll go! That's it, so every point that's won, then you switch what you do. So, always try to catch it. Double you shit. Oh, he got away with it. Oh, I got him. Oh, so it must be that throw. <laughs> must be that downward throw that helps you win. So, we'll go again. We've won all. Deciding. So, play best of three. Deciding game. You going down again? Yep, yeah. yeah. Go. Oh. 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 <laughs> Dodgy one. We'll go again. So obviously guys, as the comp competition kicks in, try and keep the technique as well. Oh god, I'm just a up at her. We'll go. So you still try to catch it, get that W, keep the stance. Arms are burning. Oh! <laughs> oh, took one to the chin from Tyson. Oh. Woo! Definitely gets the burn on. Okay. That's it, guys. Keep working. As soon as you catch it, get it thrown. Try and catch the other one out. Oh, Will's ended up with both of them. <laughs> Great work guys. <clears throat> what we're going to do with this one guys as well, just going to quickly show you an alternative. So we've done throw chest to chest and it's gone down, you can also go over. So if Simon throws it chest to chest, I throw it up. Okay? So we've got chest to chest and we've got one going over. There's a little variation, just getting you looking up and down, okay? To make the one that we've just done a little bit harder, we're just going to drop down onto our knees okay so the bounce down now is not going to be from as high it's going to have to be a little bit more underneath to get it to pop up into them so you've taken away the bounciness of your feet now are we ready i'll go down you go straight across to start with go as soon as you catch it you want to release it as fast as you can Simon's been kind, he's working for me. It's nice of him. Oh, he's fluffed it. 10%, no worries, we're nearly there. Faster. Oh, we can't have that one. 
<laughs> right guys, as unfortunately we were in out of battery, we'll show you the third level which is where you just sit on your bum. So you're really low now, okay? So it's just getting that upper body working. So I This is the competition, okay? Even though we can't have competitive football just yet, we can have competitive games. Hey, who knew we were this good? Yeah? We haven't been practicing for an hour before, Adam, don't worry. <laughs> done guys so we'll let you guys keep playing in the background doing superb effort back there we'll come and have a little chat to you guys on facebook right all muddy good that's what we want guys wet soggy muddy the main thing have we all got smiles on our faces okay sure we have so guys did we enjoy that hopefully you did if you, if you jumped on halfway through, don't worry, you can always watch it back on Facebook at some point and it will be uploaded to our YouTube channel as well, which, as always guys, if you've got an account, please subscribe, click the bell, make sure you get everything that we put up in the future. All right, so I want to say a big thanks to Simon. My pleasure. We're going to pull back Baz, Mr. Producer today. All right, with the brolly. All right, big hi to coach Baz as well. And give a big... Thumbs up Hello. to Matt and Will in the background. They've been with us every week online and they wanted to come up and see us this morning. It's been an absolute pleasure to see them. So guys, the news that we've got for you. This is our last online session live. Okay, we are going to be put, getting some videos put together, putting them up on Facebook and our YouTube channel as well. So do keep checking on those. But this is our last live session for the lockdown period. Next Saturday, we are going to have a Saturday off just to enjoy a Saturday. The Saturday after, we will be back here on this field running our Saturday morning football sessions. Okay, we're back, guys. Finally. We will be sending out some text messages and emails to people. Um, we are going to be limited on spaces, obviously, with the, the guidance that's still in place. We can only take so many children. So I'm going to be in touch with you all this week. So please wait for me to do that, and then let me know if you can make it, if you can't. We're going to have to obviously make sure we've got people booked on so we've got enough coaches, enough space and everything else that we need. So I want to say a big thank you to all of you for the last 14 years, however long it's been we've been in lockdown, okay, in about 12, 13 weeks, guys. Absolutely love doing these sessions. We will do some more in the future, all right, but it just won't be every single week now. So big thanks to Simon, big thanks to Baz, big thanks to you guys at home. It's been an absolute pleasure. But for now, guys, online, we're signing off. See you later. Bye-bye.